this is the home page that I want to rewrite. And the way I'm going to rewrite it is I'm going to just copy straight out of my web browser. And I've opened up Web Content Studio and I'm just going to paste in the article directly into Web Content Studio. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to come up with a list of theme words and theme phrases for this particular article. It's on irritable bowel syndrome. So I'm going to copy the title and I'm going to put that in as the root phrase. Now, the settings I use for the keyword spider, I base my results on the top 10 results. I select page text and then you can leave that as 1500 if you want. If you want to do the processing slightly quicker, you can reduce that number. And the other thing I've got to change here is I've got it set up at the moment for German Google. I want to select google.com and then just check my preferences here. That's all English. Save those. OK, now I can go back to the keyword spider and set it running. OK, now the keyword spider has come back and we've got results for theme words, two word phrases, three word phrases and four word phrases. And the very first thing to do is just to go through and check anything that you think might be important. If you're not sure, then include it anyway. And what you'll usually find is that, especially with four-word phrases, there's not really very much. Two-word phrases, there is more. Um, Three-word phrases more, sorry, then two-word phrases is more, and then there should be quite a few theme words. And really what I'm looking for when I'm analyzing the, the four-word, three-word, and two-word phrases, I'm looking for actual phrases that are fairly unique to this particular niche. When we come to the theme words, we'll look at those separately, but you can see here irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, symptoms of IBS, uh, functional bowel disorder. These are actual phrases that people would use really when they're talking about irritable bowel syndrome. And here on the, the two word phrases, you can see bowel syndrome, irritable bowel. Well, I'm not going to include these because they're part of a longer phrase, irritable, irritable bowel syndrome, but abdominal pain certainly bowel movement, soluble fiber, abdominal pain, celiac disease, and so on. And I'm going to pause the video while I do the two word phrases. And just finally, before I switch off the two word phrases, you'll see here that I've selected blood tests. Now, quite clearly, blood test isn't unique to irritable bowel syndrome, but it is something that you could have if you're suffering from irritable bowel syndrome. Um, and similarly, small meals and things like that. So you've got to use your common sense when you're deciding which words and phrases to select. And then over here on the theme word, uh, I'm going to go down and I'm going to select all those that I think are important. If you're not sure, for example, the word men. Now, I'm not sure whether the word men is really that important, but I'm going to select it because it tells me here that it appears 245 times on the top 10 pages. We'll have a look later and see whether these are actually important. But let me just go down. I'm going to pause the video again and I'm going to go down and carry on selecting these single word phrases. OK, now I've finished selecting the single theme words. I've also got two word, three word and four word phrases. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Create Reports tab where this button is active. Now, if this button isn't active, it's because you haven't created or opened an article to be editing in the first place. I've got my article there. I'm going to add the theme words and phrases. And if I go over, you can see here I've got theme words. And in fact, there's 114 of them if you look down here and theme phrases 27. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to generate theme words from this list of theme phrases. All that does is it looks for the words that make up these phrases and adds any that aren't already in the theme word list to the theme words. So now I have 122. Now that is clearly far too many for writing an article on irritable bowel syndrome. So we need to, to find the best and the most important theme words to use. And to do that we go over to the reports and we check the theme words against the top 10. We can, we can type in the phrase there, which is the main phrase for the article, and hit OK. And Web Content Studio will now go and compare those theme words to the top 10 in Google. OK, now the reports run. And what we've got here is two windows. This one will help me delete words that I want to delete. Uh, and basically, it will delete words that don't appear on at least, in this case, seven of the top 10 pages. But I can change that if I want to. And the other one is. Um, actual theme reports for the top 10 pages in Google. So you can go down and have a look, see how well they're themed. However, at this stage, we wouldn't expect them to be um, really high scores because we're comparing them with 122 theme words. But what's interesting on this report, if you scroll to the very bottom, is it's got all of your words there, 
look and it tells you how many times on the top 10 pages the words were found and obviously the words that are only found on one or two of the top 10 pages are not important or at least not that important what we're interested in are the words that are found on more of the top 10 pages so what I want to do quickly is just have a quick count up and I'm looking to include 30 to 40 theme words in my final list so let me just have a quick look here okay up until the eight, so appearing on eight pages or more, there's 35 words. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, let's just remove all words that don't appear on at least seven of the top 10 pages. And then we can have a look now. We're down to 45 theme words, which is probably still too many. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it now against a slightly different phrase, IBS. And we'll do the same thing and we'll have a look, see how these theme words that we've chosen are... Um, appearing on the top 10 pages that are in the top 10 Google for the term IBS. And here we are back with the results. You can see now we're getting slightly better theming results for the top pages. And if we scroll to the very bottom, we've got our list again of words that appear on the top pages. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, right, well, let's just get rid of those ones that don't appear on at least seven again. And that should get us down then to within the 30 to 40 range. And there we are at 36 theme words. So there we've narrowed down our theme word list now to 36 of the most important ones. And what I always tend to do is just have a look through manually as well, just to make sure no words like have has crept in, which is really not that important. Let me take that list. And now we're left with 35 theme words and 30, uh, 27 theme phrases. When we come to write the content or rewrite the content, we'll have this um, theme phrase section here open and we can have a look and see whether we can get some of the words in. For example, you can see that some of the words here, like diarrhea, we can see that that appears in theme phrases. So if I get the word or the phrase cramping and diarrhea into my article, then I've automatically got the word diarrhea in there and also cramping. Though I don't think cramping is one of the top theme words that we're using, but that doesn't really matter. Just as a final check, let's just do the theme report on the article as it is. This is the original article that I haven't rewritten and um, I didn't use any theming ideas when I wrote it. So let's have a look at the theme report. There's a word counts there. These are the theme words that aren't found. And if we scroll to the bottom, it's still not too bad. Um, the quality theme score I've got there is 72%. And um, if we look, we've used 20 different theme words. Now, that represents 57% of the total. So I've only used, I've used just under 60% of the theme words that I've identified as being very important. So the idea now is to go back and to look at the theme words that I haven't used yet, which are these ones here, and try and get those into my content with an eye also on the theme phrases to see if we can get those in. One nice little final check you can do is once you've got your theme words and phrases selected, just go back and recheck against the top 10 pages in Google. Okay, and here we have the results. I can close this window because I'm not interested in that. I just want to have a look at the reports for the top 10 in Google. So the first page in Google, you can see it uses 100% of the theme words I've identified. So does position 2 in Google. Position 3 in Google uses 94%. Position 4 uses 94%. Position 5 uses 100%. Position 6 uses 91%. Position 7 only uses 57%, so that's not quite so good, but it looks, it's a .org, it looks like it's some large authority site on IBS, so it's going to rank good for a whole selection of IBS related phrases. Position 8 uses 83%, position 9 uses 97%, and position 10 uses 94%. So we can be fairly sure that the words that we've chosen are probably the best ones for our article.